Director Ray, welcome. As you know, I am deeply concerned about the conduct of both the Department of Justice and the FBI, particularly in the last three years during the Biden administration. I think the Department of Justice has been profoundly politicized under Attorney General Merrick Garland. And I think the FBI has as well. And unfortunately, I think you've been unwilling to stand up to senior career officials in the FBI who's allowed the FBI to be politicized. I'll tell you, I regularly speak with FBI agents across the country who are unhappy about the integrity of the institution being weakened because DOJ is being treated as a political weapon. I want to talk in particular about the investigation into multiple allegations of corruption concerning Hunter Biden and Joe Biden. Because the Department of Justice has, I think, from the outset, tried at every step to stop investigation into corruption from Joe Biden. As you're aware, a WhatsApp text message was sent to Henry Zhao, a senior Chinese communist, from Hunter Biden that reads as follows. I'm sitting here with my father, and we would like to understand why the commitment made has not been fulfilled. Tell the director that I would like to resolve this now before it gets out of hand. And now means tonight. And Z, if I get a call or text from anyone involved in this other than you, Zhang, or the chairman, I will make certain that between the man sitting next to me and every person he knows, and my ability to hold a grudge, that you will regret not following my direction. I am sitting here waiting for the call with my father. Now, Democrats and those in the media trying to defend the White House repeatedly say there is no direct evidence of Joe Biden's involvement in his son's corruption. Well, this is a text that is direct evidence that is stating that it is his father that is going to retaliate. Now, an IRS whistleblower, Gary Shapley, testified before the House of Representatives that the natural step he wanted to follow was to determine whether Joe Biden was in fact sitting next to his father when this threat was made to extort millions of dollars from a Chinese communist. And what the IRS whistleblower testified is that when he tried to find out whether Joe Biden was sitting next to Hunter, that the DOJ blocked getting the GPS data on Joe Biden's phone. Did the FBI try to ascertain where Hunter Biden was and where Joe Biden was when this text was sent? Well, I think the questions you're asking uh, go to the ongoing investigation being led by Special Counsel Weiss. And so I'm, I'm not going to be able to discuss what is or isn't in scope. So look, that. there's been testimony under oath from the IRS whistleblower that you did not seek the GPS data. And you're right. David Weiss, the special prosecutor, is in charge of it. And it is David Weiss and his underlings who, the, according to the IRS whistleblowers, have alleged that they're the ones trying to stop the investigation. They allow the statute of limitations to run on many of the most serious violations. Not only that, IRS whistleblower Shapley testified that on September 3rd, Assistant U.S. Attorney Leslie Wolf explicitly told investigators that despite having probable cause to search, quote, there is no way a search warrant would be approved when the evidence in question was located inside of Vice President Biden's guest house, Wolf stated that, quote, the optics prevented such a search. Is the FBI, do they make a routine practice of allowing partisan political optics to prevent investigating serious evidence of corruption? My instructions to our people on this and on every other investigation are that we are to follow the facts wherever they lead, no matter who likes it, no matter what political influence may be out there. Then why didn't you get the GPS there. data on where Hunter Biden and Joe Biden were? Again, Senator, with respect, I can't discuss but, but it's an not ongoing with respect. investigation. And, and, and Director Ray, you and I have gone round and round on this because I understand. Anytime you're asked about this, the answer is it's an ongoing investigation. Of course, the investigation isn't ongoing. You're not doing the work. You've got whistleblowers pointing out that you're not doing the work and you are hiding behind the skirts of the Attorney General. Look, the whistleblower also testified that the Attorney General, when he came before Congress, go to the next chart, came before Congress, lied under oath to this committee. 
The Attorney General testified to this committee in response to my questioning. I have pledged not to interfere with the Hunter Biden investigation, and I have carried through on that pledge. The IRS whistleblowers have alleged the Attorney General lied under oath a felony. Was the Attorney General telling the truth when he said this? Do we have the chart? We don't have the chart. Was the Attorney General telling the truth when he said, I have pledged not to interfere with the Hunter Biden investigation, and I have carried through on my pledge? Again, I, I can't speak to the Attorney General's testimony. I can only tell you what my instructions have been to our people. Has, and the, I has there those been political be interference in the investigation into Hunter Biden and Joe Biden? Not that I have experienced. Were the investigators allowed to investigate whether Joe Biden was complicit in the corruption? Again, there is an ongoing investigation. I'm asking you about corruption led. from DOJ. Were uh, they allowed to investigate Joe Biden or is the whistleblower telling the truth that DOJ said Joe Biden's off limits? No questions about the big guy. And as to what is in scope or not in scope of the ongoing investigation, I would refer you to Special Counsel Weiss. That is not me hiding behind anything, Senator. That is a longstanding policy that has been in place Director through multiple Ray, you, administrations you have a responsibility. going back years and years and years. You have a responsibility to the FBI not to allow it to be a partisan tool and, and, and a partisan weapon. The testimony, and by the way, the FBI has done nothing. And I have not and I will not. Have you opened an investigation into whether the attorney general lied under oath to Congress and whether the attorney general obstructed justice? I'm not going to go down that road here. I, I know you're not. That's the point. Nobody thinks you've opened an investigation because you're not willing to. And the amazing thing is, Director Ray, I've known you 30 years. You're not a partisan Democrat. You're simply sitting blithely by while career partisans in your agency allow it to be weaponized. And you are damaging the FBI, and you are damaging the Department of Justice. Let me ask you also, the whistleblower testified that investigators wanted to execute a search warrant on a storage unit used by Hunter Biden, and instead they tipped off Hunter Biden's lawyer before the search warrant was carried out. Is it typical FBI practice to tip off the subject of a search warrant before the search warrant so they can remove any evidence that's incriminating? What is typical is that when you're dealing with an individual who has a protective detail, uh, it is typical for agents to be in contact with does the, the subject's protective, protective, detail, protective detail. Does the protective detail guard the, the storage unit? Again, I can't speak to the storage unit specifically, but I can tell you is that why, when it comes to... Why would the FBI tip off the subject of a search warrant about the storage unit that was going to be searched beforehand? Does that not undermine the very essence of an investigation that DOJ is purporting to undertake. Again, I'm not going to be able to discuss specific investigative sets. But who that is? If in you're this. not, nobody answers these questions, and it's why people are furious with the cover-up, because you don't believe the FBI is accountable to Congress or to the American people. Your time is up. Director Ray has requested a five-minute recess. Five minutes. I'll just, let me just, uh, Senator, if I might just quickly respond and then respond. go to the break. Thank you. I understand why this is frustrating, I do. But it is also the case that these policies that I am referring to about my inability to discuss ongoing investigations and certainly internal deliberations related to ongoing investigations are policies that have not only been in place for many, many years through multiple administrations of both parties, but, but in fact these were policies that were actually strengthened under the last administration and that my predecessor was faulted in a fairly scathing Inspector General report for not following. And when so I keep that in my mind. You have an obligation when to I call it out. Engaged in this job. Thank you. You have an obligation to call out corruption.